Hi everybody, I am Serdar and I am an AWS and DevOps instructor at Clarusway. In this session, we will learn how to create an IAM role. An IAM role, similar to an IAM user, is an IAM identity with specific permissions that you can create in your account. However, roles are intended to be assumable by anyone who needs it. And also, roles have temporary security credentials. Every role has two policies a trust policy and a permission policy. The trust policy defines who can assumable the role. It is a JSON policy document in which you define the principles that you trust to assume the role. The permission policy is just an IAM policy that gives that role some permissions on some things. It can be thought of as the same as an IAM policy on a group. A permissions document in JSON format in which you define what actions and resources the role can use. The document is written according to the rules of the IAM policy syntax. There are four different role definition types. AWS service role is to talk to AWS services each other. Another AWS account role is to reach one AWS account to another account's resources. Web identity that allows users federated by the specified external web identity or open ID connect provider to assume this role to perform actions in your account. SAML 2.0 federation that allows users that are federated with SAML 2.0 to assume this role to perform actions in your account. In this session, I'll give an example for AWS service role. Let's assume that we have a video sharing website platform hosted by EC2 and videos uploaded by anyone are kept in S3. When customer uploads a video, EC2 needs to connect with S3 and upload this video to S3. So, EC2 needs to talk with S3. We can do this with IAM roles. AWS service role is for connection between AWS services. To be more specific, an EC2 instance with a service role can upload a file to S3 bucket for us. Let's get started. Sign into the AWS Management Console with your AWS credentials. Open the IAM service using the services tab from the on the top and click IAM. Uh, click the roles link from the menu on the left. Click the create button and select AWS service. Choose the service that uh, will use this role. As I said, I will give a permission to EC2 instances to reach S3 with full access privilege. That's why uh, we are choosing EC2 in the first place. You can select the whichever AWS service you need from here. Click the next permissions button and find the Amazon S3 full access policy using the filter or uh, you can create your own policy with this button. I'm gonna write S3 full access it's here and select the Amazon S3 full access and click next tags. You can uh, give a tag a key value pair uh, for this role and I'm not gonna give any tag and click next uh, review and I'll give a name uh, as S3 full access from EC2 yeah and I'm gonna copy and paste as description and click create role button and uh, that's it uh, we have created our role if we attach this role to our EC2 instance it will be able to access S3 service with full permission as you can see, in this session, we have learned what the IAM role is, what are different role definition types, and how to create an AWS service role. Thanks for watching. See you in the following sessions. Till then, keep in touch with Clarusway community.